Hi, Clarity family. Welcome to your reading. The person on your mind, their exact feelings. I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. So let's jump straight into it. Meditate here on the three cards and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get into it. Hi, Clarity family. Number one, welcome to your reading. The person on your mind, their exact feelings. I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the next video upload. Also, that is how you can help to support. Okay, Clarity family, let's get into it. You're drawn here to your card holding the tiger eye crystal. Now, what I absolutely love about the tiger eye, the energy here, it's a protective shield against negative energy, okay? So what it also means is that, you know, it helps to also enhance your self-confidence, promote mental clarity, and attract abundance and prosperity, Okay, and we know we all can use anytime there's abundance and prosperity flowing. Oh, we want to open the floodgates of that and say, okay, universe, yes, bring it on. We all could use that. So let's see what card you have. And you have the six of wands. So with the six of wands energy, let's just make this point this out is that that wand energy, it's fire. Okay, so it's fire, zodiac, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. In the sun, moon, or rising signs of this person that is on your mind or yours as a confirmation in the reading. But specifically here, I just want to point out that um, this is that energy, right? Of victory, of like winning. It's that energy of victory, a winning, award recognition, good news, and success. So there's a clear message coming through for you, um, number one, that there is some news that's coming to you, okay? Some and and it's 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 going to be quite surprising because in a way you put this request out into the universe, but you didn't realize you know how big of a blessing that this would be, okay? So, I have to get that out there. Also, with this person on your mind, I'm going to tell you something. This person sees you as like the one, your relationship goals. You are someone, okay, that is dedicated, you're loyal, you're trustworthy, they can trust you. They know that you're not going to cheat, lie, play games, right? Manipulate them and stuff like that. So they trust you. They trust you wholeheartedly. But what's coming through is that I don't think they can even trust themselves, okay? <laughs> but they trust you. It's your character. You've proven, right? You've proven that um, you're someone that can be trusted. So let's gain more insight. What's the energy spirit as it does relate? So this person on your mind, what's happening? You got... The administrator with the planet Saturn and the planet Saturn says, hey, I walk in, I walk with a foot in both the spiritual and the earthly worlds. This is Saturn, planet Saturn ruling over Capricorn. Okay, you got Capricorn there. Capricorn is significant. Top placements of their chart or yours. So they feel like you're someone like you're grounded. You know what I'm saying? You're grounded. And that Capricorn energy is dedicated as well as strong, purposeful. You, if you're going to do something, whether it be, you know, with this relationship or what have you, you're going to do it purposeful, right? You're going to do it purposeful. And so you're structured, right? Uh, discipline. They, I feel like this person does recognize your discipline, you know, your disciplined um, nature. And I feel like they wish that they could have, you know, as much discipline as you have. I really do. I really do. I'm picking up that this person has been kind of like stressed out lately. 
feeling overwhelmed. That's what I'm picking up. So let's gain more insight. I don't know if it's their job where they're feeling overwhelmed or making a decision. Mm. Maybe like making a decision about their job or their career, something like that. There it is. Their sensitivity, see? I got that. That's what that that is the same energy that's coming through. So I could definitely feel like this person is in their feelings. They are in their feelings big time. I'm also picking up that five of cup energy. Mm. Like like the having regret. Having regret about something that they did or even something they said. I feel like this is the type of person that does open their mouth a little too fast, right? When it comes to communication, when it comes to talking or saying what's on their mind, they can, metaphorically, they can put their foot in their mouth, meaning just saying stuff too fast, you know? I do want to point out that the frequency here of sensitivity, that helps you to, that helps you, right? That helps open you to the world of, you know, things that are happening really subtle in this relationship connection, right? You're sensitive to vibration too. Like you can feel a room. Like when you walk in a room, you can feel the energy of a room. You can feel when something's off with this person. You can just sense it. You can feel it. That's why you were drawn here to this reading because you know something is off with this person and they're going through something. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, yeah, sensitive, for sure, for sure, sensitive, deep, emotions, water energy is coming through. I'm feeling Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces as well. So let's see what's happening. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy, Spirit? What's happening here? I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. I feel like this person is, right? I do. I feel like they faced a lot of challenges in their life, and so have you. Both of you guys have faced like childhood challenges. That's something that um is parallel, right? With like you growing up and um your family life and stuff like that. That this person really, I feel like they're tired. They are tired right now. And keep this in mind, number one, that facing challenges, right, can bring about strength. Okay, so I feel like this person is kind of like tired. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. The spiritual lesson that you have taught them is that lesson of like understanding. Okay, I'm going to listen to you. Okay, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Okay, I will have understanding for what you have to tell me, right? So I feel like this person is grateful for that part of who you are. They recognize your empathy, they do. They recognize your empathy. They can see that you are tolerant, right? You are a tolerant individual and, and um, supportive. So let's gain more insight. What is the energy spirit as it does relate here? So what's happening here with this person on your mind? Number one. What is happening with this person on your mind? There it is, isolation. I'm telling you, I picked this up. Something's going on. So you're encouraged here to send this person lots of like love, uh, white sparkly light, love and white sparkly light, right? Just send that energy. When you think of them, send that energy because they're going through something. They are going through something, isolating themselves. Mm -hmm. And so this is in like resonance with that, um, with the five of pentacle energy, right? So it's just like they're worried. 
they're worried and they're worried, you know, because, um, they are, they're living like a lot in the past of certain things that they had to deal with. And they're also worried about the future. Okay. So when they're living like that, then that will bring about anxiety because that's the only way that you really can have anxiety is if you're reminiscing about something that was so painful or hurtful in the past or worried about the future. So this person is isolating themselves and they may not, you may not see it, right? You may not see it because they want to seem like, oh, I'm going to go out or I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that, you know, but really it is, there's definitely something um, deeply rooted going on. And I feel like it has something to do with their relationships, right? I feel like it has something to do with platonic relationships and how they feel like they are not, they feel like they're not suitable. That's what's coming through. Like they feel like they're not suitable for romantic partnerships as well. But it's all because of something they learned or something someone else said, right? So so in essence, um, they're living out of their fear, their ego, right? That worry, that doubt and fear it is coming from the ego. So let's gain more insight. Okay, let's see here. What is the energy? What's happening with this person on your mind? What is going on, spirit? What is happening? You have the star, the star. Yeah, so with the star energy, first let me point out is that they see you as someone that is able to like be in the spotlight. So there's something, there's a resonance, there's an energy that you give off, a presence that you could be in the spotlight. Like people would look at you, people would be drawn to you, okay? So that's something that they feel about you. And also the star energy is offering like that renewal and that hope and hoping things turn around for the better, hoping, you know, wanting you know, trying to have faith, okay? And we got that earlier here with this person saying, hey, I'm grateful for the um, spiritual lessons that are happening or that you have given. Yeah, so that's... Hmm. I feel like they see you as a muse, like as an inspiration to them. They see you as a muse. You know what I mean? Like you inspired this person so much, so much. And so let's gain more insight. What is the energy spirit as it does relate? What's happening here? What is the energy? A coffee cup. Yeah. So with you having the coffee cup, this is definitely about meeting, meeting and conversing, right? Wanting to savor the moment, savor the moment of this relationship. See, we got that earlier where with the six of wands of how this person feels like you offer, you know, the uplifting vibes, that, that friendship energy, true friendship, true relationship energy. And it's like, so when they're able to connect with you, right? When the energy is right and everything is cool between you guys, it's like, if you, if you ever drink coffee, right? It's like that feeling of like that first sip, right? That's first sip feeling of that nice, hot, 
cup of coffee and how it hits your system, right? It's like uplifting, right? And then you want to savor the moment of every sip. So that's what's coming through with them and how they feel about you, how they feel, how they see your personality, your spirit. I feel like this person wishes that they could have more discipline. They really do. They see you as a confident person and, and quite practical in the way that you move about, the way that you, you know, do your thing, right? Handle your business, they see you as wise and practical. You like things to be orderly and in a structured, and, and you like for things to take place in a structured way. And that's something they recognize. So yeah, you are considered like an inspiration to them. Low key, like you motivate them, but they stay in their heads a lot. <laughs> They really stay in their heads a lot, way too much, way too much, you know, way too much. Spirit is always encouraging you to live in the moment, to live in the present moment. The future is not here and the past is gone. And that does not take away from the validation of validating, you know, your past experiences or your challenges. Yes, that stuff did exist, right? But it made you stronger and wiser. It makes you strong and so wise. Yeah. But so they connect. They connect really, you know, they recognize your earthly, right? And your spiritual nature. So you, you, you're, um, you're navigating the earthly realm and the spiritual realm always at the same time. You're able to navigate that. And so beautiful number one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading resonates with you and inspire you. And if it does, uh, drop a comment below. Also, keep in mind, I am offering same day email readings. The link will be in the comment section. And I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hi, number two, welcome to your reading. The person on your mind, their exact feelings. I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Let's jump straight into your reading. I see here, number two, you're naturally drawn to your card, holding the rose quartz crystal. This is a high vibrational energetic crystal. And the rose quartz, it is the crystal of love, right? It offers that energy of like compassion, um, forget forgiveness, and understanding. So this is that crystal when, you know, you might find it really difficult to um, try to understand um, even your situation or someone else's situation. And this is that energy that the rose quartz offers you that time, that space of just really taking a step back and saying, okay, I may not know what's going on, but you know, I'm going to send this person some compassion or even have compassion for yourself. So this is a perfect choice. And let's see, you're drawn here to the Ace of Wands. So let me point out that the wand energy is fire. So it is the fire zodiacs here. It's Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries in the top placements of your chart or the chart of, of the person that's on your mind. It could be in the sun, moon, or rising signs, right? But the Ace of Wands, it's creativity. It's creating energy. The wand energy, it's this person sees you as someone that you really want, you know, to make something happen. You really, your intentions, they can tell that you have pure intentions. Uh, you know, when you set out to do something, that is exactly what you want to do, right? No shady stuff, no manipulation vibes, none of that stuff is happening, right? And, and you, the thing is, you can't stand it when someone's playing games with you. You cannot stand that stuff. So, this person sees you as someone that's always wanting to, or, you know, to, to like create something new, having a new project or having just that urgency to do something. And I feel like, um, this person, they're a little bit slower at getting like their feet off the ground and doing things. 
And so they kind of compare themselves to you. Like you're able to like, okay, I know that this must be done over here, whether it be your career or school or whatever you have to do. And you just, you just say, let me do it. Whereas this person is a lot slower. So they compare, they compare like how you do things, how fast you do things and you know, their slow nature. And they're just, they know <laughs> they're like, I wonder, I wonder if she recognizes like I'm so damn slow, but you do, you pick it up. You're like, ah, if you don't move your ass, <laughs> you know, this, this person is making me laugh. I don't know why, but let's get more insight. Okay, look at Jupiter. So Jupiter is the visionary. And of course, Jupiter rules over Sagittarius. So we just got Sagittarius showing up here. So with Jupiter, um, and this is creation, okay? So this is the visionary. This is that energy I'm speaking of on how this person feels about you and what their feelings and how they see you, right? You're the one, you're like, hey, this world is filled with possibilities, I may not know how it's going to happen or which, which way to go, but I know this world is filled with possibilities, okay? And you want to grow. They see you as someone that's wise. You're insightful. Oh, and you They recognize, you know, your enthusiastic nature, how you are positive. You have that positive mindset. When they kind of want to be bluesy and feeling down, you, you just step out and you're like, you know what? Don't worry about it. Everything's going to be okay. So they recognize that about you. And there are days when you feel that way, when you feel like, you know what, I'm just like over it. I don't feel like, you know, this stuff. But the difference is you, you keep those feelings to yourself and you don't share them with anyone else. So that's the difference between you and um, this person. I feel like they see you as um, someone that has a lot of knowledge, a lot of information to share. And if you don't know something, you are going to seek, you're going to Google it, you're going to find it out. Because that's the thing. With Jupiter here in Sagittarius, um, Sagittarius is the truth seeker. Seeker, you want to know what's going on. You want to know the truth. You're humble. They can recognize your humbleness, your humility. So that's the thing. You're a giver, but you're not going to be the giver that's like, oh, I just gave so-and-so, you know, some money, or I just did this or that. You're not that. But I feel like this person loves to talk. I'm picking up a lot of chatter with this person here. I'm picking up prying eyes as well. I'm picking up that this person is very curious. And when I say curious, I'm like nosy, okay? I'm thinking of like, you are so nosy, bro. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, this person's nosy. And I told you I'm not leaving anything out. Not leaving anything out, number two. Also, number two, I did want to mention that I am now offering same-day email readings. And the link is listed in the comment section. So if you want to get an email reading... Head on over to my website and you will get that reading back the same day. And so you have transformation. Transformation. You move funny, I move out your way. <laughs> I feel like they know don't play with you. Don't do not play with you. Don't play with you. Yeah. See the energy of transformation that supports your ability to gracefully to gracefully flow, right, through the times of change, the times of transition, allowing the old, right, allowing the old to make room for the new. That's what transformation is about here. And also with transformation, you got Scorpio. So Scorpio is significant. Keep that in mind. You got Sagittarius is significant as well as Scorpio and the other two fire signs, Aries and Leo significant they know not to push your buttons do not push your buttons because you are patient you can handle a lot but if you catch on to the fact that they're playing games or they're tricking you and stuff like that you're just like you know what i don't have time for this i don't have time for it and they recognize it they do 
They may act like they don't, but they recognize it. What is the energy as it does relate? What is happening, spirit? What is that energy? Look at the thunderbolt, see? This is a confirmation, okay? Well, with the thunderbolt energy, this is, whew. <laughs> whoa, I'm sensing some tower. I'm sensing tower energy, right? Like an unwanted change a ruin, a, a disgrace, an upheaval, and some violence, okay? And that violence could be mental, spiritual, emotional, physical. Violence can come in all forms. Don't play with you. You're not a violent person, though. And what would hurt the, you know, this person the most if you just let them go? And you're not a violent person. And that is not where... I am sensing the thunder, the, um, I'm sensing a thunderbolt energy as far as you like, I quit, I'm over it, I am done. But with this person, like, I'm sensing aggression, aggression, not being able to control your temper with this person on your mind. They are not able to control their temper. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. I mean, they can, it depends on the set. Like they're able to, so it's no such thing as um, impossible, but depending on the nature and the situation, like if they have to go to work and they have to go get a check, they're able to control their temperature, not temperature, why am I saying temperature? They're able to control their temper right? If they're able to go like, and they know they have to make money, oh, they're going to they gonna act right. They're going to act right. But I'm, I'm feeling, I'm getting entitlement. So that's where that aggression and the temper flare-ups come when they are communicating or in relationship connections with people that they feel like they're entitled to do certain things or say certain things. That's when they get upset or you know, ah, mm -hmm. and there's the five of pentacles. It's earth. Pentacle energy is physical. So you got the earth zodiacs. You got Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. But specifically here with the five of pentacles, this person is worried. They're worried. They're worried about, dang, I'm picking up like they're worried about money. They are worried about, um, being alone, being isolated, and stuff like that. But they are freaking worried right now. Worried about the relationship here with you as well. Yeah. Well, I can definitely see why you were also drawn here to the Rose Courts. I have so much clarity on that. You, you're drawn to that rose course because there is so much that is happening here with this connection. So send this person compassion. Send that energy of compassion and, and just forgiveness and, and love. And of course, you don't have to engage into anything toxic or go back into any space Unless that space is liberating, unless that space is offering you um, growth, enhancing your life. But I know you know that. You're like, Clarity Bay girl, I know that. I'm not. I'm not. But yeah. So let's gain more insight. Let's see what's happening. What's going on, spirit? So what is happening here with this person? This person on your mind. All right, the person on your mind says, I hope that, <laughs> look at this inner, let me say something. Well, you see what it says, right? I hope that you can forgive me one day. This energy, this, this, it's all correlating. And I'm so grateful when spirit does show up and show out in this way to validate your questions and your concerns. 
it just affirms that spirit is omnipresent and that you're meant to hear this message. This person says, hey, I hope that you can forgive me one day. You're encouraged, number two, to forgive and let go because you want to make sure that you are vibrating, you know, at a frequency, which is a higher frequency, which is forgiveness for allowing, right? A dedicated, true, loyal relationship to flow to you, right? And, and so that's why it's very important to forgive. And this person is wanting that forgiveness. So let's gain more insight. Wow. I'm just like, um, I'm picking up, I'm picking up grief. I'm picking up grief. I'm picking up regret. I am picking up feeling like just alone, you know? Oh my goodness. That saying that, that there's a saying that is so true. You make your bed, you made your bed, so sleep in it. And that happens with all of us. That happens with all of us. So man, I don't even know why this person moved in the way that they moved with this relationship with you, but they are so regretful. They are so regretful right now. Addiction, codependent, obsession, okay? Possession, controlling energy. This person has a block. They have like a like an emotional block block where they're not really able to express themselves fully. And I feel like this is something that may have that they may have learned, you know, in their earlier growing up, right? Restraint. Restraint is coming through impossible for me to tell you exactly how I feel because I don't really know how to express it. And so that is the message that's coming through for them. They cannot wear their heart on their sleeve. They cannot. This person fears being vulnerable, which leads to most of the discord in their relationship connections, whether it be a romantic relationship or even like a platonic relationship, it leads to that discord by being closed off. And they wish they would have treated you good because they know that you have good intentions. And so beautiful number two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading resonates with you and inspire you. And if it does, drop a comment below. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hi, number three, welcome to your reading. The person on your mind, their exact feelings. I will share with you all the energy that does come through and not leave anything out. Let's jump straight into it. I see here your energy, you're naturally drawn to your card, holding the green of Venturine crystal. Now, this is a lovely stone. I love it. It's known for its ability to bring tremendous emotional healing, helping to let go of difficult memories and promoting your inner harmony. Okay, so this is a perfect choice for you. And let's see what card you do have. You're drawn here to the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords energy, the sword energy, it's air. So it represents the air zodiacs, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra in the top placements of your chart or your person's chart, sun, moon, or rising, right? As a confirmation in the reading. But the Ace of Swords, it's a new conflict, okay? It represents a new conflict. Like this person... 
this person always has something going on or either like in a conflict of some sort with someone could also be in also in like a mental conflict with themselves going back and forth with um different you know situations that may have happened um with people in the past with people in the past okay so you are wanting mental clarity you want mental clarity the ace of swords is also um a good a good message coming through for you that spirit is downloading you with new ideas, with new ideas about something you want to approach in regards to communication. So keep that in mind. You want to do something in regards to communication, whether it would be online, whether it be writing or um, writing or singing or just um, something to do with communication you want to do. And Spirit is giving a message that, hey, I gave you that idea. I gave you that idea. You need to get on it. You need to get started. So keep that in mind. And there is definitely lots of success around that new idea. I feel like this person sees you as someone that will cut them off. It's like, you like, you know what? I'm going to cut you off. I'm not going to play games with you. Don't play with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, that's how I feel like they see you. Yeah, so let's see. What is the energy spirit? There's the merchant. No, not the merchant, the magician. This is Rahu. This is the asteroid Rahu. I am a master manifester, says Rahu. So with this energy coming through, I can see that um, this person does rec recognize that you're smart. You know what I'm saying? You are intelligent. You are conscious. You know what's going on. They cannot pull the wool over your eyes. You not. You know what's happening. You do. And they see you as being very creative. Very creative as well. Psychological in nature. Psychological in nature. So if they think they can play some mind games with you, guess what? No, you can't. You cannot play the mind games with you. And they know that. Something about you is quite magical is what they see, is what they're feeling, right? You have like this um, intuitive nature of just knowing what's, you, you, you pretty much know like, okay, this person is for me, this person is not. This situation is for me, this is not. This career is for me, this is not. You have great intuition, the intuition is ruled by the moon. And so with the intuition being ruled by the moon, the moon rules over the mother. So the mother is significant in the reading here. The mother is significant. Also, the moon rules over the zodiac cancer. Okay, we know that cancer is that water energy. It's water. So I'm picking up some sensitive energy, deep-rooted uh, um, emotional or deep rooted things that this person is constantly like trying to navigate, right? Let's gain more insight. Thank you, spirit. What is that energy as it does relate what's happening here? Duality. Duality. So this duality is right? You having the, the ability, right? To, to like, just flow, to like gracefully do your thing, to flow, right? With, among all opposites, among all opposites. So you are able to cut it up with the president of a country or, you know, just your neighbor across the street or just, you know, a, a, a homeless person on the street. Like you are, you have that frequency about you. And I feel like this is what this person recognizes. And that's something they respect about you as well. You're open-minded, very open-minded. And so they like that about you. So let's gain more insight.
what is the energy spirit as it does relate? Whoa. See, I felt, remember I just said, I feel like this person has some like something going on. Just feeling like something emotionally overwhelming right now. And so exhaustion comes through as a confirmation. But you know what? It, what I can really see is that the thoughts that this person has, it's because they are, they don't know how to control their thoughts or know how to control their mind. And they are reliving certain situations that took place in the past. They're reliving those things and they are worried about the future as well. So they're tired. They are really tired. This person tries to do a lot. This person does try to do a lot. And I can hear you coming through a number three saying like, you just do too much. Like I can hear you coming through saying that. Wow. And so let's gain more insight. What is the energy spirit as it does relate? What is happening here? What is that energy And you have? Finding out the truth crushed me. Mm, this is making sense. This is making a whole lot of sense because we just had the moon come through, right? So we had the moon come through and the moon is unseen problems, hidden secrets. Okay, and so this person is saying, finding out the truth crushed me. Right? So there are some unseen challenges, unseen problems going on within this, with this person. Some things you can't see. So spirit is encouraging you here to trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Right? Because, of course, your intuition is guided by the cosmic GPS system. And that is the ultimate GPS system, right? So trust your intuition. Trust what this person has shown you, their actions, and your intuition. And you put those two together. You put the actions and the intuition together. And what do you have, right? So let's gain more insight. Finding out the truth question. This person is definitely going through something. I encourage you to send this person lots of love, compassion, right? So let's gain more. What is the energy spirit? What's happening with this person? That is on your mind. Ace of Pentacles. There's the money coming through. There is the money coming through, right? Physical energy for you. New job, a raise, a promotion, investment, a new income. This is happening for you. And I love how it lays naturally under the magician, the asteroid, Rahu. It lays naturally under that where Rahu says, I'm a master manifestor, okay? I am a master manifestor. And the ace of pentacles lays lay here. You got two aces. You got the ace of pentacles and the ace of swords. So spirit is giving you a big message here, number three. Spirit has been giving you ideas. And we got that earlier, that that idea is successful already in the vortex. But in order to bring it to your, to your physical reality, you have to move towards it. Because this ace of pentacles to two aces, new ideas flowing to you creates new income creates new income. And it's, you know what the idea is. It could be, hey, am I supposed to apply for that position over there? Am I supposed to start on this? Am I supposed to, you, you know what it is. You know what it is. This person sees you as, you know, someone that's able to be self-sufficient, right? You show up to this person as like, that queen of pentacle energy. That's the energy that 
That's how they feel about you. See, they feel that you're resourceful. You're a resourceful person. You're going to take care of the home. You're going to take care of yourself. You're going to get yours. You're not going to wait on anyone to give it to you. And they see you as a resourceful person. Able to move about just fine. So let's gain more insight. What is the energy spirit as it does relate? Girl talk. Time with friends. So a girl talk and time with friends. Are you moving on? Is what they're thinking. That's what they're worried about. You moving on. Happily single. Right? Happily single and moving on. Spirit is encouraging you, number three, to live in the moment. Stay living in the moment. You know, they're really worried about you having fun, being with your friends, moving on, being happily single. They're worried about that. They are bothered. They are bothered. Because I really feel like they... This person, deep down inside, they, they, they ask themselves the question, am I right for her? Am I right? Am I right for you? Do I have what it is that you want or that you need? Do I have it? So they're always comparing. I feel like this person compares a lot. So beautiful number three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading resonates with you and inspire you. And if it does, drop a comment below. I absolutely love reading your comments. Also, I am offering, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. I believe I did. I am offering um, same day email readings and the link will be in the comment section. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.